Okay. I think we're on to what is the Loyalty Rewards Program? It's an optional rewards program. As I mentioned, you can place one-time orders every once in a while if that's what works for you. Uh, but it's very generous in the free stuff you can get, especially if you stick with it over time. Um, it is a monthly order, and to keep all your points, you do need to order at least one thing per month. But it could be, you know, a bottle of lip balm or, you know, some of the cheapest essential oils like a bottle of lemon, for instance. You can also cancel at any time. So if there's a time period where um, you might be ordering a little bit more, like now, if you're ordering more online, um, then you can, can't, you can strategically do that for four or five months, two months, however long you would like. Uh, and um, so if you do choose to cancel, the pro tip is to redeem your points first. You can place also more than one loyalty rewards order per month as well. So you're not limited to one. Uh, you can switch back and forth between the Canadian and American warehouses as well. So you're not locked into ordering from where one warehouse. Uh, and always you get all your shipping back in points with the loyalty rewards. So if um, you're ordering from the Canadian warehouse again, that's $6 that you are um, paying out in regular shipping. So you get six points, which you can redeem for $6 of free stuff later on. So if you're ordering monthly in the LRP and you're getting a whole bunch of free stuff, the one thing you're gonna have to pay attention to is your PV. So PV stands for point value or product value. I've seen it both written in different places. Um, the PV is either the same as uh, the dollar amount or depending on the warehouse and what you're ordering, it might be, the PV might be less than the dollar amount that you're paying. Um, so your points that you get through the loyalty rewards program, aside from your shipping points, are calculated on the PV of your order, not on the dollar amount. And uh, you don't have to do math. PV is actually calculated in a different column in your shopping cart than uh, the price by, um, column. So you're gonna earn a percentage of your PV back in points. Uh, this does depend on how much your order is worth and how long you've been doing it. Um, and I'll explain that now. So you can earn from 10 to 30% of your points, your order back in points. You must order one thing per month to keep your percentage that you're earning back. And uh, each month that your order is worth at least 50 PV, um, then um, it's sort of like there's a continuum and uh, each month you have an order worth 50 PV or more, box is ticked, okay? So to uh, first of all, you start with 10% back. Uh, and each month that your order's worth 50 points or more, um, you get a, a check off. Once there's been three months where, where your order's been worth 50 points or more, then you go up to 15%. And then after three months of ordering 50 points or more, then, um, then you go up to 20, and then 25, and then 30. Uh, so um, this doesn't have to happen every single month. If there's a month where you just wanna order one thing, um, you'll keep your points, you'll get 100% back in your shipping costs. Um, and um, then whenever you want to order at that 50 PV level, you'll st still earn the same percentage. Um, so these three months also don't have to happen consecutively. They can. So you could go up to 15% on the fourth month, or you could go up to 15% at the seventh month. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so they just keep accruing uh, until uh, you're up to the 30% mark, which is the max you can go. Um, and so if you did this as 
fast as possible. Um, this would happen on the 13th month that you were earning, earning 30%. So I've been a Do doTERRA customer for a while, so I've been sitting at 30% for most of the time that I've uh, been a doTERRA customer. So every two, mo two months at the 30% and earning 100% of my shipping back, I redeem at least about $100 of free stuff because I'm, I'm uh, spending usually 125 PV, 130 PV, somewhere in there. That's the ballpark of what most of my orders are. And then so every other month I also get a hundred-ish dollars of freebies as well that I can tag onto my order. So with an LRP order, you're going to have a saved shopping cart that's going to be saved from month to month and you can log into your account and edit that shopping cart at any point. Um, so your order automatically will fire off on the same day per month. So right now my order is firing off on the 5th of the month. You can change this as at any time. So if, if for some reason it became more convenient to order on the 12th, then you can just change that very, very easily. Um, you can also, you don't have to wait to your date. So for instance, on April 1st th this month, I knew what I wanted and I kind of thought it might take a little bit longer for my order to travel. So I actually went in on April 1st. I made sure everything was set up exactly how I wanted and then I just uh, processed my order right away. So when your monthly order processes, it just refires and resets to that day the next month. So my order is um, all set to ship on May 5th at this point. So I just kind of, when my order fires off, I'll go back in and have a look at the order for the next month and I'll, I'll probably start edit, editing it right away. So um, I changed out a few items and uh, probably I'll change it over the month as I use things and I think about, you know, what I want to buy, what I need. Um, and so you have that flexibility to change it as you go. If you don't change it from the previous month's order though, um, it will fire off with the stuff that you, um, you actually picked last month, so that may not be ideal. That's why I change it right away. Um, and um, I, as I'm using products, I'm just kind of, I'm always thinking about it. Uh, and so um, when I have time, I'll log in and just uh, change things. So how do you, no, wait, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the product of the month, I think. So the product of the month, is an optional uh, part of the Loyalty Rewards program. Each month when I make the monthly announcements about promotions, there's a different essential oil that you can get for free. Um, and so this month it's Clementine essential oil. Sometimes it's an, or an oil that you can order um, just on its own. It's regularly available from doTERRA and sometimes it's a an oil that you can only get through the product of the month. So Clementine is one of those exclusive product of the month oils that you cannot order any other way. It's the only way to get it. Um, so product of the month is just tagged onto your order for free. If you're ordering in the loyalty rewards program, if your order processes before the 15th or on the 15th of the month. And the third criteria is that your order is worth 125 points or more. If you meet those three criteria, you automatically get the free essential oil of the month. But you don't have to do that again. So I'll get to redeeming points. So there is a charge to redeem points uh, from the Canadian warehouse. It's $4 each time you do it. Uh, and from the American warehouse, it's $3. Uh, so I just kind of, I let my points accumulate for two or three months, typically just so it's really worth it for me to redeem my points and pay that fee. So that's why I wait till I'm kind of over a hundred points or so to redeem. Um, when you redeem your points, you can't 
have all the stuff you're redeeming in your save shopping cart. It will not let you. So when you do that, you need to process your order right away. So make sure that you actually are, when you're shopping, you're ready to place your order before you start redeeming points. So let's say I want a free bo bottle of On Guard Protective Blend, let's just say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my shopping cart in my loyalty rewards program. I'm going to add in that bottle of On Guard like I'm buying it. Once it's added, um, in the columns across, there's a column that says use points. Uh, and the items that you're able to use points for, um, if you're not able to use points for a certain item, like maybe it's worth more than the points you have available to you, there'll be an X. So you can't redeem points. Um, and uh, so um, if you do want to redeem it, you have enough points, um, then you just Scroll down in that column and you click on how many you want. Uh, so if I'm ordering body butter, for instance, that I use a lot of and I want to order two, I can just select two instead of one and I'll get two containers of body butter for free. Um, then once you've redeemed all your points and um, <coughs> doTERRA will kind of count down as well how many points you have left to redeem on your shopping cart so you don't have to do the math as well. Um, then you just hit proceed to checkout, you go to the confirmation page, and uh, then you can actually um, hit process now and uh, you'll get all your stuff for free. Really the last thing to go over for the loyalty rewards program is if you want to cancel. How do you do it? First of all, you need to redeem your points. Um, if you cancel your uh, participation in the Loyalty Rewards program and you still have a whole bunch of points, you'll actually lose them. So before you cancel, go on a shopping spree, pick free stuff, um, and uh, redeem all your points, okay? Place an order. Once everything's redeemed, you have no more points sitting in your on your account. Then you're just gonna get in touch with customer service. You can call, you can chat, you can email them as well. There's several options for getting in touch with customer service. And uh, you just have to let them know that you want to cancel being in the Loyalty Rewards program and they will take care of that for you. Um, if you start, let's say you were up to 20% though um, in um, your percentage of Loyalty Rewards points that you were earning, you cancel and then six months later you go back in, you're going to start at 10% again. So that percentage does not, you know, stay saved for you. So uh, to maintain your percentage, you do have to stay in the program, but you can join the loyalty rewards program or cancel anytime you want. You're not locked into anything, which is nice. So it gives you some flexibility. And um, if it's strategic for you to temporarily join in, um, then you have the option to do that, which is nice. And uh, you get the maximum value uh, for uh, your dollar because you're actually getting a whole bunch more free stuff. 